What's up guys, this is Rifeman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Louisiana. In the last episode we pretty much smashed the, the, uh, the core of Ottoman power in the Middle East, so now the push is on. Um, we are going to be attacking this force, so it's going to be super careful because they got lots of melee infantry, so they will be looking to charge us, and I'm happy to let them do that because we've got a, uh, a good amount of infantry to shred them to bits. So let's... I mean, we're attacking, but we have the artillery advantage um, overall, not in terms of field artillery. But they're going to want to uh, to push up, so I'm going to let them do that. they got lots of risks of souls, janissary units, so I really want to be using my firepower advantage more often than usual. Um, if you're fighting a, a regular uh, a regular configuration army, then sure, it could be a bit dicey, but... Uh, Ottoman melee faction, Ottoman melee stacks can be a bit. Uh, they can surprise you. They can surprise you. This isn't actually that bad. So let's put my horse artillery up here. I'm probably going to want to spread my howitzers out to provide a bit more coverage. So let's create a block of infantry on this flank here, block of infantry on this flank here, split the cavalry up here, general in the centre. Okay, let's trundle my artillery up. And then let's push up my infantry here. Ooh. So they do have, obviously we do have organ guns to contend with. But if we get a good... I should probably have you dropping shots short of the line. So on the right flank we've got Feline, Janissaries, Janissaries, Risks of Souls. Yeah, charging up on the left flank would be silly. <laughs> or their left, my right. This unit drop into square. I need to retarget my howitzers. Because I did get them to uh, attack. I did get them to attack that cavalry unit. Ooh, and, I, and they still did, even though I was retargeting them. Fortunately, this, for, this unit's in square. Okay, the Risks of Souls got annihilated. Okay, let's actually trundle you just a bit up a bit. Okay, there we go. The organ guns are gone. Let's get a lot of our guns starting to work on the enemy infantry units. No, nope. don't send my cavalry up too quickly. Because I do want them to be in a good position to chase down the enemy. Janissaries missed because it risks there's so much so much melee infantry and that's dangerous for your cavalry because they might um, catch them catch them when they're stationary or yeah, you just want to be careful okay let's make sure we pivot our infantry units a little bit Okay, so that's seen off the camels. So you hit... Primarily focus on the melee units. With... Get one unit to hit these... Uh, hit these Nizam units. Okay. 
you keep picking up the uh, Mamelukes in in the distance. Nice big target for you. Because yeah, they're ranged units. When they engage us, they're going to be uh, they're going to be in trouble because we've got such massed musketry. Um, it's tempting to pivot these units a bit further away. The Bashis have hidden. Okay, let's pivot these two units. My cavalry could probably chase them down, but why Why take the risk? Why? Okay, you might actually start blasting the 16th with canister shot. So you hit the Bashis even though they're hidden. Some good hits onto their line infantry here. That was too far away. I just want to watch these Riskers of Souls get... Let's put my cavalry behind the line. Because the AI can do this. They can they can focus on your cavalry and that means units will start to work their way around your line when you might want them to actually charge you. Here come the Bashies. Retarget all my howitzers again. Let's charge one more unit in against the Bashi Bazooks. Good shot there on the Nizam. So you guys try charging down the Riskers of Souls to see what kind of response that gets. These men that are marching stoically as an almighty block towards us, so you can imagine what's probably going to happen to them. Reload, men! Reload! There's blokes with swords coming after you! There we go. So the initial charge went well for this cavalry unit, but the follow-up combat, not so much. Here comes the enemy reinforcements. So you men charge in. Because I suppose, because they are, even though they've got high morale, they are low defense. Here comes the line. Okay, get this cavalry back out on the flank because they're starting to reach us on the right. Felina routing, that's really good news. So are they. So let's get my cavalry in. Let's just get my cuirassier out of this combat. And let's let my regiment of force keep attacking the Riskers of Souls. My cuirassier can go chase down those camels. Uh, they've still got melee infantry out there, so let's not get too hasty. to retreat. I don't know why it says the Camel Nomads are winning. There, see? Now my Curiosier are winning. Silly Camels. You guys keep running. Lead them towards the gun line. hate it when they do that. When they get close enough, they decide, yeah, okay, we'll stop. Okay, 
now it's time to push on the right flank because I can send in my general's bodyguard to chase down no, my cuirassier to chase down their general's bodyguard. My East India Company cavalry can have a bit of a fun time. Hey, their camels charged our line. Charge the Janissaries. They fired their last volley. Then break through. So have no interest in actually fighting that unit. did see them put down stakes. I'm going to switch my artillery to round shot, get them all to focus on that unit of Mamelukes at the rear. Same with my little gun team. As long as they don't charge backwards on themselves, they'll be okay. No. Stay away. A colonial light unit to chase down those Mamelukes. They're having a great time there. To be honest, they're all routing. I don't want to send my general in because it might get a bit messy when it comes to trying to keep an eye on what's going on. But these Mamelukes should peter out against the squares. Here's another unit of Mamelukes. So they want to charge down or counter charge my cavalry attacking their camels. Okay, they've routed through my line, so you can imagine they are. Oh no, they're good, they are shattered. Good. hoping we can do okay no you guys jump on the infantry guards you guys keep attacking the mamelukes you guys get through here and start working the working the back of this formation keep coming at us they don't want to charge them because they've got these spikes Human gang up on the on the African infantry guards. That's them chewed up. Gang up on the Armenian archers. Whoa, see that. So I did lose. I'm probably going to lose these two as well. Chase down the Fellaine. You men make up the new front line. The Simeon Arch unit is upset. Okay, let's get them out of here. Because we're about to have a new infantry line form up anyway. My Crossier are going to win against this Mameluke unit because it's what they do. So let's just mash these guys down here to go fight the Mamelukes. Then we can keep them all together after that because they are quite weak. I mean, it looks like a good chunk of men, but it's actually not. Let's unlimber our horse artillery. I brought these guys in because they are 
in general stronger. Let's bring up our general's bodyguard. See how they keep falling back? That's why I didn't want to fight here, because they would just fall back and pull my men through the defences. This is the thing, is like that. Okay, if they want to keep doing that, then I can just perform them into square. So the archers have got to be in their bonnet about wanting to keep fighting. But between them, my cuirassier and my square formation are going to knock out this Mameluke unit. My infantry up here is going to do a real number on their on their infantry line. You men just charge the Feline Musketeer block. There go the Armenian archers. Charge in. Okay, here come the Sekban Janissaries. But this regiment of foot hopefully will pour some volleys into them. Yes. As they try climb the fence. Actually, no, let's get my cavalry just behind my line. Let's get them out of here. There's too many um, spikes around to get two cavalier. Everyone that's not cavalry, you guys can join the the fight up here. You guys are all yeah, fire well off. Yeah, just focus on these feline. Actually, I might take one colonial cavalry unit because there's a gun back there. Yeah, I limbered my I limbered up my horse artillery unit, but never, never actually got round to uh, using them. There we go, making quite good progress. See so you guys. You guys focus on the general. He's the only cavalry that can stop me from going after this 24 pounder. I'm not entirely bothered about chasing down the rest of these men. Horse artillery is already in position, so un unlimber. Perfect, they're in transit. Lots of these reinforcing units have already been, they were already depleted, so in an actual engagement they will suffer even more damage. No, let's just end it. Chiefly because, well, we don't really need to. This army did take a bit of a hammering in response. Looks like there's, there's 1,200 of them remaining. Onward. So you men replenish. My Lord. Okay, you're going to push up. These two armies can't move. I could attack... And draw them into another big fight, which they are not prepared to do, which they're not prepared to uh, to engage in. Yes, sir. We can't do that, sir. I mean, if you guys are bugged out, then you guys can disband. Your humble servant. So, Nicola Molineux, can you guys? Where can you guys get artillery from? 
to you 11 turns to get here. Okay, order of the day then. Ahmedabad. Oh, no, you can't recruit artillery either. I don't think many places can. Aha! My small towns. So Ardabil... No, you're not a... You're not the correct building, but still, that also means... Well, it means that at least Ahmadnagar here... Build guns to ship up to the front. There's probably many other places I could also do that from. But it's odd. Mighty odd. I mean, I could try destroying it, but there's not really much point at the minute. Yeah, you got hammered. Uh, let's repair this building so we can turn the U into a church school. Make ready. You're replenishing? Okay. I think I might take you and engage Prepare Batman. Oh. Auto resolve it is. <laughs> I thought some of these other armies here might get involved, but apparently not. Lots of research going on, lots of late game research, and lots of traits gained for our admiral, uh, for our general. So Bastian Perot, who just fought that Your fight majesty. there, gained a patriotic sword. So he's becoming a good general. We don't actually have too many top generals apart from Adrian in the Middle East, because we've done a lot of recruiting. Obviously we do have our fights up here as well to manage. Sir. You're going to... Yeah. Question is, do I put them under siege to try and draw this army in into a big defensive battle? That's probably what I want to do. So Ufa up here. When they're upgraded, I'd like to start churning out some smaller armies to provide a bit of support. Something down here in Spain. Yeah, you're getting ready to be dispatched overseas. You men can leave here and attack this army that got deposited on the coast. <laughs> Pushed across to Tangier. But then again, they do own the strait. So there we go. That's something to be aware of. But we do have our own dockyards. So where's my... Okay, I can't get recruit an admiral's first rate. There we go. Construction of some uh, slab-sided killers will really suck up the uh, <laughs> suck up our ships, our, our financial capacity. Seminary repair. I'd like you to be repaired before I go for a final push against Württemberg. You guys can probably push in and... Oh no, okay, right. Because they are within... They are within the Bavarian borders. Quite sure where you were going. Ah, oh, yes, you guys need to come around and push the Swedes away. Well, that might be an auto resolve, actually. Blip. Oh, obviously they go that way. That's why attacking them from the right direction is critical. But then these guys can go gobble them up. Helmer Matheson. So again, we still do have the problem of artillery here in Western Europe. So, Strasbourg. 
you're going to sit here and just churn out artillery. Or the smarter thing to do is to get it into units as and when they need it. So like this army here needs... You just need infantry. Let's just get some Western European mercenaries. Well, we can only get two of them. Till they're finished. So this army here, Dresden. Recruit general. <gasps> Jeannot Mirabeau! It's Theodore's brother! I mean, I don't know if it actually is Theodore's brother, but I like the, the idea. So, 11 becomes 17. Three units left. Let's get a unit of Cheval Leger, Lancer Cavalry, I don't really build Lancers. And then two units of Cuirassier, if that's going to be the route I take. And then, here at Dresden, let's recruit more men. Actually, I'm tempted to drop you guys forward of the city in case these guys get any smart ideas. Okay, yeah, don't march into the port. You guys are going to sit here and replenish for a while first. Your Majesty. Let's, just let, let's just let the replenishment go for now. I mean, I could just attack you. Knock you out. I may as well, put, <clears throat> I may as well push and take Gdansk away from Sweden, because I, that means I can... I have a reinforcing army that I can push up to the bridge. So this army that's going to get depleted in the attack, I can provide some cover for. But yeah, I really do need to <clears throat> push in Bavaria. So I think that's one for next turn. Okay, so slightly misty. It's another unit that suffered from the recruitment problems we have. We could deploy some men up on the flanks. That might be a job for these sharpshooters. Uh, let's put heavy cavalry and some lancers, plus two units of infantry up on the flank. We still need a good centre. So let's deploy one of our howitzer units up here on the flank. Too bad our sharpshooters are going to miss the opportunity to hit that artillery, that cavalry unit. This is why we've got that hussars. Focus fire on the artillery. They've got their own howitzers, mortars, or what not, up to no good. So the Hussars charge the Provincial Cavalry. Push up our line. Push up our skirmishes around the flank. Let's retarget our howitzers. And then our flank unit attack this unit of militia. Might actually deploy them like this. There we go. And our men in the centre. Obviously, reloading. So excellent quick climb shot there. There we go, these militia are under fire. We're receiving some of our own some of our own some more artillery fire. Mortar fire is causing my troops some upset. Let's retreat this cavalry back. Let us change our position slightly. Okay, right. No, I accidentally... Let's 
to give my horse artillery orders. Superior line infantry. It doesn't really work when there's not many of you. Isn't that right, boyo? Push up even closer range. You may just form up and pepper that garrison line. Our flank artillery unit, in particular, is going to focus on that, that line unit on the, on the flank. Let's get our cavalry around. There we go, sharpshooters. Pepper them with deadly accurate rifle fire. We're starting to engage them with our own musket fire. Yeah, there we go. Redeploy our hussars to the right flank. You men push up and start to pour fire into the 82nd's flank. These sharpshooters should be doing some real good, really good, oh, really good damage to the 23rd. have one regiment of provincial line back here so let's bomb bombard them with artillery fire and these guys are going to pour some devastating fire into the flank of the 82nd I mean these are brave fellows for already putting up with it for as long as they have done there we go These men should soon receive the order to fall back. Although they're not. No, they're holding on. Because these units are getting a bit hammered. So let's get some artillery support their way. I hear, a I hear a charge. Well, I did hear a charge. Okay, you men, push up. You guys are engaging the 97th and the 90th. So let's pick some new targets. See, every year, everyone attack, shoot the general's bodyguard. So I want to start to... Okay, there we go. They've abandoned their little defensive position. The Lancer guards are in. Lancers down. And the heavy cavalry are in as well. So let's see if the initial charge is enough. There we go. Slaughter them! So where's my general? There he is. Let's get him involved. Although actually we don't really need to. Men hold fire. Hold fire. Actually, I am I'm going to continue because I fundamentally because we've just got a really good opportunity here to do a, a huge amount of damage. So yeah, you guys don't chase them down. Well, it's not even the huge amount of damage. It's the uh, experience the experience that some of my units can get that's the thing especially my general so that's why I want them in I mean that's only a militia unit but 
think we can get it and start killing. Come on, there's three militiamen left. No, he's there's two of them all the way over there. You guys. I mean, it's unnecessary because they are just, they're going to be destroyed anyway. Because it is a city battle, but still. Got him. Nice. So that's another territory secured from the Swedish dogs. If they're not, Gdansk, you will prefer my rule than that of the tyrannical Swedes, but the first thing we're going to do is knock down one of your happiness buildings. Destroy a coaching inn. I mean, I don't I don't want to push up to Konigsberg yet. We definitely could. Let's get my spy down to Warsaw. We've not got much strength to the south. I mean, they are sieging our territory here at Yagava. You guys need to combine forces and push on Petrovskaya. We could push on St. Petersburg, but I do want a bit more support. Shooting one sharpshooter. Can't get another sharpshooter. I don't think I can get any sort of light infantry anymore. So infantry it is. Okay. Let's upgrade this commercial port. Let's upgrade some of these industry buildings. Let's make sure we are keeping our infrastructure upgrades going. Jean oh yes, this is a top quality army here. You're going to come down towards the south as well. This army under... Gerard Turenne is probably going to take Genoa and Cagliari. Well, no, actually, I might send them all to both. So we're getting ready to push on the Austrians in a big way to the south. Because I do want... I do ideally want to have Genoa and Milan before we take Bavaria. Ideally. You could march on and attack these Dagestan troops. And push on towards Tarki, because uh, that will start to really give them, give Dagestan some problems. We've been at war with them for an awfully long time. This is the first time in, well, a whole lot of turns that they've actually had the opportunity to uh, fight us. But their army is almost entirely um, uh, regiments of horse and line infantry, so. My artillery is going to have a great time. So let's create one broad flank and let's create another broad flank. Again, we've got a nice mixture of Indian sepoys and American infantry mercenaries. Sepoys, sepoys. I'll probably deploy my howitzers a bit too far forward because it's reducing the amount of time they've got to mo more effectively well they'll shoot at further distances but when they get within a certain range then my guys in the artillery is not the right weapon I oh, know you guys can't no shrapnel shot's not far enough everyone open or open up with round shot you just start to open up with glorious quicklime. Yes! Yes! It's my field artillery. Focus on their howitzers. Got General's bodyguard unit up on the flanks. That's where I want my cavalry to be, to be honest. Probably just going to advance. not as if we don't have the money to absorb 
losses. I mean, they probably don't even have bayonets. No, they do not. So they they like well, they might have advanced firing drills because they do have a they did have a top tier university. But yeah. Okay, let's stretch. Rather than making our entire line run or run further up than they have to. Come on, let's just do this. Howitzers just to keep dropping. Good old quick climb. These cavalry want to go, they can go. But look at this, the 33rd are the ones that have pushed up. Do they have? No, they don't have fire by rank. How beautiful. So the 33rd are not going to be here, not going to be long for this world. Cavalry, go deal with the general's bodyguard. Let's pivot the flank up. Okay, let's turn my flank unit into square. Hit the general. Begin pivoting my flank. Because, yeah, these guys are going to be in a terrible spot. I'm likely not going to kill as many as I would like. Um, on the open battlefield because I just don't have the uh, the infantry to do it. Very well. If the general wants to be a scamp, I will just run my cavalry around behind the behind the uh, cover. This cavalry realizes we can't charge it, but we have to. General's bodyguard's broken down. 39th, the wheeling right. To be honest, both our howitzers switched to round shot and also focus on the cavalry to the rear. My infantry's just doing a great job at just repelling such low quality infantry. Yeah, not a lot they can do about that, really. Advanced firing drills are pretty dope. Then these regiments of horse just bouncing off of my square. Well, they're not bouncing off entirely. They are doing damage. But yeah, I want to focus on killing these guys because I don't want them to be around to resist my light cavalry push. I don't want these light cavalry to be loose either so that's why I'm reluctant to push them up as well. Okay, good. Ignore the cavalry if it looks like they're going to go for my infantry. More than happy for them to do that. Because we've got some infantry that needs killing. There! Quick, fellas! Help your general! Start mopping them up. <laughs> I 
Good. Drummer's bodyguard, get in here. Actually, let's turn these guys' fireball off. Good. This is going to get them some good experience. Damn right we're going to continue. Again, it's a pity we don't have the cavalry to do what we'd like. Uh, let's turn my artillery off as well. But still... I'll take doing a lot of damage to the enemy over total damage. Let's just bounce them around from unit to unit because we're not going to be able to kill them all so we may as well just try and do a lot of damage to as many as we can. Yeah, so that unit's at 66. Let's chop them down to... Yeah, into the 40s. And then this unit is up at 97. Let's chop them down a bit. I mean, you guys can try and kill that unit because there's not so many near you. So cut them down to 40-something. You guys chop them from down from 60-something. Yeah, the 25th have been destroyed. You guys chase down the 37th. You guys can try and attack the 26th, but they will likely rout before you get there. Eight men left in this cavalry, in this infantry unit. Four men left. Done for. Hey, they did catch up to these guys. Seventy odd men originally. Cut down to. into the 40s, that's not bad. We might. might kill them. Yes, we will. Good stuff. Yes, that was decisive. It'll be even better if the uh, the capital is full of similar quality troops. Prepare the troops for battle. Good. So this general is increasingly gaining some really good stats. He's not got any negatives. Plus three morale, plus three command, plus five movement range, plus one command, plus three command. Plus 10% recovery chance of battle casualties. This guy, like um, if a unit goes from 100, 100 to 150, say, well, down, well, if a unit goes from 200 on the battlefield to 100, they're not 100 on the campaign map. Some of them are casualties that, that do recover. So this guy gets more recovery. And the loyal Sawar, too bad he's not going to be fighting in India, um, but that just belies his experience. So he could push on Dagestan, but... There's no rush. Let's just do a bit of replenishment. You could, well, you, you could, but you're not going to attack Ganja because you took a bit of a hammering. Again, you're replenishing. To be honest, lots of our troops are re in need of either replenishment or they don't. They can't move, hence why they, why then there's no need for replenishment. Um, so Nicola Moyo. Let's recruit another general here as well. Anything more? And let's... No, don't want to recruit a general's bodyguard. Let's recruit... Oh, no, no, not like Cheval Leger. That took 14 turns to get here. Colonial Light Cav. We can ship in 12 pounders. We can get 24 pounders locally. 24 pounder howitzers locally. Okay, we can't get riflemen for a long time. So it's just going to be colonial line, unless it's something we can recruit back here, which is probable. No, I wonder where you're recruiting them from then. 
Unless you're unless you're intending on they just run all the way through Europe, which is a terrible idea. There we go, bit frame rate. Okay, so I think I'm gonna hit end turn, and then next turn is gonna be when we push on Bavaria. So let's hit end turn. As our spies push up to Ankara, and Ankara is unguarded. We're still sieging uh, Portugal, but then again, there's no rush there. We have a brand spanking new army recruited in London. There's only so much you can do, Austria. The net is closing. Do I want to intercept? Yes, I think I do. But looking at, looking at the timer, and this is probably going to be a fairly chunky battle, I might end the episode there. So tiny bit short. Um, uh, no, it's just no. Just let's just do it. <laughs> I suppose I'd rather be a little bit over than a little bit under. You know, I'd rather it be an hour and ten rather than fifty-one, if that makes sense. So the first army that's coming in is highly depleted. It's this reinforcement army that's got uh, it's got some real strength to it. That's the one we're looking to destroy. Or yeah, do as much damage as we can. Okay. So I like this hill for an artillery battery and I like this position here to overlook the battlefield. So let's put a block of infantry between those guns and let's create two separate units on the flanks. Each backed up by cavalry. And then in terms of howitzers Okay, the enemy's pretty weak. You guys all firing quick line, you are. So let's advance the right flank up. So I'm curious to see. Yeah, look, so that's how that shows that's why they're depleted. They've got lots of good units, but they're all there's not many of them. Ooh. Push our cavalry out wide. Heavy horse artillery. Household cavalry. They do not like what we've been doing. They've actually nearly completely destroyed... Okay, right, we need to... Advance and knock out those guns. I should have done it sooner, really. I've got all the artillery I need. Two men form square. Get in there. Yeah, they 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 hit our square, but it's not not enough to be worried about. So they've knocked out. No, one of our some of our guys ran a bit f too far up. Ignore them, there's only 14 Hussars there. The priority... Are oh, the Howitzers, is the artillery. Get involved in an almighty combat. I've got Curassiers involved. And my Chasseur Cheval. Uh, okay, let's make sure our... 
Okay, it's annoying they managed to actually get through our position here. Chevaux Leger are going. Okay, good. I mean, keep attacking the Mountain Jaegers if you like, but I do want you to focus on their artillery. Should really have retargeted my artillery before that, because my Curiosier are now wavering. If they take a couple of dodgy shots, they might like that from that Light Dragoon unit. Yeah, there they go. So where are the reinforcements coming in? Okay, you guys were exposed on the flank. That's my fault. You guys need to push up in support. Okay, you guys charge the Crossier Guards. So you guys keep attacking their artillery. My Crossier have come back. Some of my infantry is routing, so let's not leave this unit out here stranded. You guys hit those light dragoons. Or actually, you guys instead. Another volley into the flank of my cavalry. So let's get you guys back here. Back into the woods. So you guys skip the inconvenient fight because I want to go after the guns because they are what's blasting holes in my men. So this unit back here. Okay, good. The Royal Crassier Guards are being engaged by my infantry that's already set up for the defence. Okay, let's bring you guys back. And then chase down that unit of heavy horse artillery. Keep attacking them. There we go, the enemy cavalry is gone. Western European mercenaries have been hit by Hussars. Let's form a square for them. You guys hit the rocket troop. This... how oh, it's a quick climb, this unit of light dragoons. You guys get out of square, back into formation. This unit of artillery, I can't shrapnel shot them, but round shot them all the same. Engage the lances. Field Marshal of Europe kind of got to engage you guys. This is why I do want like I do like having cavalry on my flanks to help support when things like that happen. Okay, there comes the enemy reinforcements on the left. Uh, you guys can try and attack them. It's the re oh, okay. This army is going to get is going to successfully 
push me back because they are reinf they are attacking on note from a good direction. Unless we can win against the Marshal of Europe, which we're not going to do because the Grenadier Guards are going to be picking us off. So you guys need to knock out that Regiment of Dragoons pretty ricky tick. My infantry needs to form square. If my guns can get out of there. Likely not. If you guys can knock out the 19th regiment, they're shattered. Good stuff. Okay. generals died that's to be expected so let's start shrapnel shotting that cavalry my guns are dead they're they're gone for sure but they can buy some they can buy some time you guys form a square this gun team keep forming square. It's not what I want to do, but squares are what's needed. So this gun team can try and engage people up on the hill. I mean, that quick climb killed that unit there, absolutely. Okay. This army's done for. <laughs> this army's absolutely done for. They're just their their cavalry is just sweeping me across away from the uh, off of the uh, the map. It's just it's 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 unstoppable. Like, it's just, they're just smashing through my guys. Yeah. I mean, those are Fusiliers, so they're not the best. They're not the best in melee anyway. God, yeah, this army's getting absolutely smashed. See, this is... Who laughs when I say pikes are brilliant? Pikes are brilliant. <laughs> Imagine if, if I had pikes right now, think how much they would... They would have solved my problem. Can you men get out of here? My guns are going to get cut down. To be honest, the whole army is going to get cut down. <laughs> Let's just speed up time. Just let it happen. Just let it happen. Just try form square to do damage to them as they... Just try and do some damage to them. There you go, now you guys run, because their cavalry, their infantry body's coming up. <laughs> Yeah, there we go. But if my guns can successfully route, which it looks like they might, well, those howitzers might not. Yeah, nuts. <laughs> what a way to end the episode. So, how many, how knackered are you? Okay, you survived, actually. Yeah, 3,000 men. Prepare a new defence. That's goddamn right, isn't it? Mm, Austrians gonna go around and do some sneaky raiding. Don't worry, Austria. We're gonna get you back for that. No trouble at all. You try and steal my technologies, eh? I'm on to you. Opportunity to intercept. I'm not gonna. 
Yeah. Annoyingly, I should, because this army's got nothing. But I'm not gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna let that army that's currently dug in just get a bit more replenishment, and then we might go on the offensive. Mm. Spanish ships have abandoned the Strait of Gibraltar, so now the army in Gibraltar can cross over to Morocco. Oh, they're going to come back. Not far enough. And they're sending their agents to try and steal our precious secrets. Don't worry, when the army in Gibraltar is done, you'll cross over the strait. But obviously we've got the Ottoman war machine pushing on like an unstoppable mach well, machine, really. <laughs> I think one of the Persians will sally out at Tbilisi. I mean, Tbilisi is their last region. So you would expect them to do so. Not only is preparing a new centre of gravity up near Yerevan, Sweden will likely get up to something. So they're not abandoning Kazan. Hey, but they are actually going to attack, which is nice. Um, but, looking at the timer, I believe now it's actually time to end the episode. So... Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for yet another Defense of Courland. Cheers, everyone.